Hi, this is question 5 from the AQA call for January 2013 exam paper. Um, the first part of this video I'd like you to try the question yourself, so if you can pause the video and have a go at the question yourself. Okay, well done if you've managed to have a go at that, the next part of the video um, I'm going to go over a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. So, um, we first of all have got this integral here. Um, now, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Um, some people are good at doing this by inspection. So you might want to think about what do I differentiate in order to get this? And then you can kind of work backwards. Um, the other way that you can do it is you can do it by substitution. So you could say that I'm going to let you equal and um, my tip here would be to say let u equal x squared plus 3 um, and then work out what du by dx is and, and, and do the substitution um, and, and solve it that way ok part b um, we want to solve um, this differential equation here now one of the things to notice straight away is that this what we've integrated over here is the same as what we've got over here so that might save us a little bit of work um, while, when we're working this out now the first thing to do here is we separate the variables so you want to get all of your y's um, together and all of your x terms together um, and then um, and then think about how you can um, integrate each side um, from that point there onwards um, and remember um, we are looking for a particular solution because we're told that y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 and we also want to rearrange it to get it in the form of y is equal to something so think about how you're going to do that okay so if you'd like to um, pause the video now and, and give it a go um, and I'll go over the answer shortly okay for this part of the video I'm going to go over the um, full solution um, to the question so uh, starting with part A now um, I said we can do this by inspection um, I'm actually going to do it by substitution so you can see clearly um, what's going on so I'm going to start off by saying well um, u is going to be um, x squared plus 3 and du by dx is going to be equal to um, 2x ok so now I'm going to substitute that into here so my integral is going to be um, well um, I'm going to leave the x there for the time being so we've got x and then u is x squared plus 3 so this is going to be root u and um, dx is going to be du by 2x so of du by 2x over here and um, the x here and here will cancel each other out and I'm going to take this half outside of my integral so I'm going to now have this is equal to a half of the integral of and um, root u is u to the power of a half du ok I'm now going to integrate this um, so that's going to be equal to and I'm going to add 1 to the power which is going to be um, 3 over 2 and I'll divide by 3 over 2 or times by 2 thirds so I've got a half times two thirds which is going to be two sixths um, so that's going to be equal to um, and I can substitute back now so we said that u was x squared plus three so that's going to be a third of x squared plus three to the power of three over two C. Okay, there you go. So that's my integration part. Um, part B. Okay, we're going to solve this differential equation here. So um, 
I'm going to start by separating the variables so um, I'm going to bring this over here and I'm going to bring this over here so I'm going to have e to the 2y dy and that will be an integral is equal to There you go, right, okay, so um, <coughs> I'm now going to go ahead and, and integrate each side separately. Remember, we've already done this right hand side, so starting with this here, if I integrate e to the 2y, I get a half of e to the 2y. And that's going to be equal to, and, and I would get a um, an arbitrary constant on the end here, but I'm just going to. Um, I only have to put it on one side, so I'm going to put it on this side over here once I've integrated this. And um, this is going to be what we worked out earlier as a third x squared plus 3 to the power of 3 over 2. And we'll put our constant on the end over here, plus c. Okay, so um, we now um, are told that y equals 0 when x equals 1 so if I substitute those values in I should be able to work out what c is so if y is 0 this here is just going to be e to the power of 0 which is 1 so that's going to be a half equals and x is 1 so that's going to be a third of and 1 squared is 1 1 plus 3 is 4 and then we want to do 4 to the power of 3 over 2 so 4 to the power of a half first of all would be the square root of 4 which is 2 and then we want to do 2 cubed which is 8 so this is going to be a third times 8 which is um, 8 thirds plus c okay so um, that's going to be in fact I'll come over here okay so we want to do a half take away 8 thirds to give us c so that tells me that c is going to be um, so that's 3 6 take away 16 6 so minus 13 6 so that means that I can now write this as um, a half e to the 2y is equal to a third. And we're going to have x squared plus 3 to the power of 3 over 2 minus 13. Okay, um, now we're asked to give our answer in the form y is equal to f of x. So what I need to do is I need to rearrange this um, to get it in terms of y. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double everything. So that's going to tell me that e to the 2y is equal to um, 2 thirds of x squared plus 3. If I double this, I get a take away 13 thirds. Okay, um, and now I'm going to um, learn both sides, um, which means that 2y is going to be equal to the ln of 2 thirds. and then I'm just going to half both sides so I've got y is equal to a half of ln over 2 with 13 over 3 Okay, uh, not the prettiest solutions in, in the world, but it's, it's right nonetheless.
so um, thanks very much for joining me and I will see you again soon.